everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my new backyard. <laughs> so of course I am uh, super excited today because Lindsay and I have been looking for uh, a new house for uh, oh, like over three years. We started looking in July of 2017 and we finally closed on a place today. So just over three years to get to this point and uh, it's not actually over quite yet. So one of the considerations we had with the whole move was we really wanted to reduce Lindsay's commute time. Uh, we lived, uh, we do live on the other side of the city to where she commutes to. Uh, it's a little different this year because she's been working from home due to COVID, but um, before that it's about a 45 minute commute. From here it'd be about 10 minutes. So being able to have her home a lot more than spending time in the car and you know avoiding rush hour basically, which meant that she would leave the house at seven and they get home at night at seven, we're able to kind of compress things a little bit and have a little more family time, which would be really nice. So as I mentioned, the adventure is not quite over just yet because uh, we do have some renovations we want to do to the house and we don't really want to live in a construction site. So we've decided to stay living at our current place for the foreseeable future until renovations are done and then move over here. So um, we're kind of thinking it's gonna be about a year at this point so we have a nice year-long transition period to um, <laughs> get everything over here and get everything kind of situated which should be really nice. So because we are entering the winter months here in Minnesota we're basically we're gonna spend the winter planning out the renovation getting everything in line so that in the spring everything's all planned out and ready to go and I do plan to bring you all along with us on that adventure. Uh, I'm not going to be doing all the stuff myself. I'm going to try and do as much as I can and I'll be there for a lot of it but uh, uh, we, with the, the amount of time it's taken to get to this point I don't want to spend the next four years doing it all myself. <laughs> so that's going to be happening with the house. Um, everything else, the shop I'll probably move over uh, a little bit before we actually move in that way I have all my tools here and things like that to help with the renovations and then eventually the sawmill will probably come over that'll probably be maybe next um, maybe next summer there is currently no no infrastructure for a sawmill here there is uh, to get to like the area where there would be a sawmill back here somewhere there is uh, no real good driveway access there's no flat area that is an improved surface to put the sawmill on and there is uh, no electric this far back on the property. Not huge hurdles to overcome but hurdles that exist nevertheless. So when we were looking for property one of the things that we were kind of liking with the idea of having a lot more land was to have uh, trees and forests and things. This property was a prior horse property so there is uh, a lot of pasture here which isn't the uh, the worst thing because I have other dreams for things that I want to be able to do um, <laughs> namely a few um, I really want to have an arboretum which is kind of a different one uh, I kind of fell in love with that idea when I was over in England at the uh, green woodworking class with Paul Hayden uh, we did the uh, green woodworking make a Windsor chair in the woods thing and that was at an arboretum and I thought that idea of having a tree collection was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so I plan to have a tree collection here somewhere. I would also like to uh, start a vineyard so I got some space here for that. Maybe a small orchard and a return to gardening. When I was a kid we had a, a garden and that was a lot of fun to learn how much work goes into making a cucumber <laughs> for instance. Now as far as buildings on the property go there is this barn structure here, there's a small shed, and there's the house. Uh, so my plan is to convert the three-car garage that's on the house right now into my shop when we move here, and then someday put up an actual shop. So the nice thing is that whenever we do move, I'll have a slightly bigger shop. I'll be going from a two-car to a three-car garage, which will be nice. I'll have a little more extra space to have uh, more room to actually walk around. So this is our new house. <laughs> is that all recorded? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there will be a lot more stuff happening here and of course you'll see more of everything else in the future as we bring along on this uh, adventure of ours that we've been having. So I will see you when I see you the next time. <laughs> Happy Bye. working and goodbye.